Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When you have two great rushing attacks like these two teams have, we're going to spend a lot of time focusing and watching the great runs and the shifty moves of the running back. The heart, the soul, the guts of both of these teams, the hog mollies, the fat guys, the smart guys, the offensive linemen who hold the key for both teams. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. should be an incredible game. And now let's head down to the coin talk. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. TCU has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Fielded at the four. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Austin's proved in the past, Kirk, that when he's at home, he's so much more comfortable. The whole routine all week long, and it makes him play better on Saturday. It, it does. I think there's a difference between him on the road and him playing at home. I, and I don't know if it's just at home cooked meal or just being around the familiar atmosphere here at this stadium, but he does seem to play at a different level. And it's going to be a challenge for this defense to be able to stop him this week. Doesn't get there. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. And he's tackled right around the 46 yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Nice run, and he's brought down. Austin Stats are doing all the talking right now. He's one of the nation's elite players. And Herbie, we watched him on film. His motor is always running. High energy, a lot of talking. More importantly, he really demonstrates some leadership out there, too. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's under some heat. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Screen pass gets it to the back. Brought down at the 18. Really a nicely thrown ball and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. Nice run there as they work the outside. Gets out to about the nine yard line. He makes it 
it to the six yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Well, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. And he is drilled at the five yard line. TCU is really excited to watch this guy grow yeah, with this defense. Goal. That was his first tackle, but I guarantee you he's got hundreds more coming. They're at the five. It's second down. Touchdown, Owls. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Hawkeyes were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. And for Iowa, they put together four straight wins. The Hawkeyes win it by 20. In other action, the Knights had a spot in the top 20. That is in jeopardy after this performance. The upset is complete. And for Reed, he hauled in more than 100 yards worth of passing. The Bulldogs capture the W by nine. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. <laughs> The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Bumble! And the offense picks it up. They'll wrestle him down to the backfield. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. Sack makes this a second and long. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. stop at the 15. The defense might have gotten a little bit lax there, but they were still able to prevent the first. Bowen is waiting for the snap. Ratliff feels at the 50. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlights didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes to the 35-yard line. Rice is up a score. Seven yard line. Tackle at about the twenty five yard line. Call it a two yards. That makes it seven and eight. Strike complete, he's down. 
up about seven on the play and the completion is also good for a first down this quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive four-yard drive and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 14-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 26. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. There are three quarters remaining. Rice is in front by 14. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 28. He's going to go for the home run. And he holds in the deep pass. The 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. makes the PAT. McGee has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Rice is up seven. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. Zips it to the back. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. He 
He's at the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 34. second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear you apart. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 21-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gates from the two. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's taken down at the 36. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. That'll make it second and four. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Well, you'd think the big tight end would be able to absorb a hit and hang on to the ball, but he couldn't get the job done there. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's tackled right away. Humphrey with the tackle at the 48-yard line. First down. tries to buy some time and he can't get away from the pressure this quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers defense looking for another sack here on the second and 13 situation he's scrambling and he's tackled at midfield Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This 
punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Rice's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. He gets hit out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. The Owls, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. That makes it second and eight. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He wants it all going long. And he makes the catch. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a seven play, 80 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. We played a half of football. Rice leads it 28-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Hold up. 
Here he goes. He gets to about the 34-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Immediately tackled. Of 13 yards. First first down. Down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the fifty. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. First and ten. Ball on the 40. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That's a that makes it second and two. run and he's brought down this is so difficult to defend well this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option and it was perfect enough to get the first right there here's the eighth play of the series pass complete and taken down immediately that's good for a gain of seven yards That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and three. three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Big opening. Decent run here, right side. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. This is the tenth play of this drive. the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle at the five. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Here's the 12th play of the drive. The ball is loose, and the defense picks it up. He's on the run. Touchdown. Huge play. It always makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. And he tacks on the extra point. The Horn Frogs running back. He was injured early. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. Smith gets set to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. And he's tackled at the 37. 
Rice's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Sets up a screen. Tillman's got it. And he's stuck behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. It's a good job by the defense to remain aggressive and minimize the yardage on that run. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 39. Fall on the loose ball, and down he goes at about the 27-yard line. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. That's three down and one to go. The Owls with a huge lead. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Ratliff is back to receive. Turn and he fumbles the ball. The defense scoops it. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Rice comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. Six-yard line. From the 36-yard line, first down. He's into the open field. He's at the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Rice! He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. And the defense has to be steaming right now. How do you let the same guy score three times on you? He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. A good one going in Lafayette. And for LSU, they're sleepwalking through this thing. They don't turn it around. They're going to get into a world of trouble. The Raging Cajuns lead it by seven. Midway through the fourth quarter. Reese, this one was never close, and it's not going to get close. Schmidt has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. Rice's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Hey! 
Flips it middle to the running back. And he's taken down right around the 30. That brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 46. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Less than three minutes in the game. He's got an opening. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made right around the 20. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Inside the 10. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's get you up to date on what's going on in Lafayette. And for Anderson, I doubt I'll ever see a performance quite like this one again. More than 650 yards received. Best way to describe this kid, the truth. The Raging Cajuns top it off with a seven-point win. Meanwhile, let's take a peek at the ACC. And for North Carolina, they're looking to win their third straight. The Tar Heels are on top, 7-3. Reese, we're not going to have an exciting finish here, I can tell you that. Whoa, he just took a lick. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. i got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done, preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Just under two minutes in the game. They hand it off. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. Sets him up nicely with a first and goal. The star of the game, Kirk, it's as simple as that. He played a great game. The whole team played a great game, and they won it. That's yeah, the important part. Yeah, Brett, he had an excellent game, and really kind of what we expected coming into today's game for him to be able to step up and show that he's one of the top players in the country, and he really didn't disappoint at all. While individual accolades are great, I'm sure he'll tell you the fact that his team came away with a victory is really the most important aspect of this game.